Hey everybody, let's talk about Scorched number 20. Now I do have this in physical form, but we're gonna look at it digitally because I broke my finger. And it's really tough, this is the worst one to break. This is your mouse finger. This is your, your keyboard where, you're, where you put your placement. So it's your comic book flipping page finger. So it it's really tough for me to read physical comics right now. So it's gonna be digital for at least about a month while this sucker heals up. So, but I can permanently do the horns now. So that, that's, I should have broken this one too and just have it like permanently like that. Anyway, we're gonna review this using my space system. Story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Two is the best you can get. I'm comparing this comic to other Spawn comics, not um, to great works of the masters like, you know, Alex Ross or something or you know, Neil Adams. So if I'm giving the art a, a, a perfect score, I'm not saying it's better than, you know, Alex Ross or Jack Kirby or something. That's not how it works. So if you're seeing this video on YouTube though, you're seeing it a week late. I do review uh, every comic, uh, all my comic book and movie reviews come out on Patreon first. So that's patreon.com slash jman77. If you're so inclined and want early access, then uh, feel free to sign up. I'd appreciate it. And for those who already have signed up on Patreon, I really appreciate it. Um, it really supports the channel, which is really just me. I am the, the channel. There's no vast array of people. I'm doing it all by myself. So I really appreciate it. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to give the storyline of this a 1.5. Um, Terminus has showed up, Planet Eaters, and he's just destroying people. That's pretty much, he wants the Spear of Destiny which is the um, the spear that you, was used to uh, kill Jesus on the cross there. And um, he's come to collect it, and, and there's a bunch of... So basically he's turning... Like the planet eaters are turning humanity against themselves, and they're just fighting and rioting and all this kind of stuff. Now, normally when they start doing riots and all this stuff in comics, it usually turns me off because I feel like they're trying to connect it too much to the real world sometimes. But I actually felt it was okay here. I mean, it's if that's what the storyline they're going for, then it makes sense. There's Terminus right there. We'll get to characters, but I, um, I liked, I, I liked it. I just, I'm, I'm just not giving it a full two out of two because um, a lot of the beginning part is focused on these, on the, on the riots and stuff. I'm like, well, let's just get to, to, to it, and that's going to lead into pacing, which I'm also going to give a 1.5. Um, I thought it was paced well. I was not bored, but I could have gotten rid of a couple of these pages and had a little bit more, like they had a splash page here, I'll, which I'll turn this way, sorry, it's really tough, which I feel like that isn't as exciting, which I'm gonna get to the art on that, but I feel like, you know, you could have made that two set, like one page and got, gotten that out of the way, but still very, very good, I liked it. Um, art, I'm gonna give the art a one and a half as well. Um, this is a great one. This probably looks great in the in physical form, which I can't open, but anyway. Um, yeah, like you got friggin' Redeemer, Spawn, uh, Medieval, and Monolith all jumping down. That's awesome. So uh, yeah, for artistry, I'm going to give it a 1.5. Uh, I love the art in here. It's very colorful. I still think that Gunslinger is the two out of two. That's the best art. But I like all the other comics pretty good as well. All four are good. Uh, this one, yeah, it came together nicely. You know, it, it, it does look good. I like the I, I like the color. I like the, you know, the inks are good. So anyway, um and for characters i'm gonna give the characters i'm gonna give it a two out of two because the thing is is that i really like like Mon monolith is growing on me from this issue um spawn obviously is awesome medieval spawn and spawn are automatically awesome i don't have to talk about them i love jessica priest um she's died but you know she's gonna be back right obviously um she's not dead dead she's not ded -E dead she's just dead and uh, Terminus is pretty badass, actually. Like, he's just, like, you know, crushes this guy's head here. And he's like, yeah, I got a mission. I don't care. So I thought that was pretty badass. And um, Redeemer's oh, just so cool. I love, I love Redeemer. So Scorch gets Scorch gets a bit of a pass because you have all these cool characters in one comic. So it's always going to get, like, a 2 out of 2 or a 1.5. I don't think I've ever given it less than a 1.5. But, you know. Um, enjoyment factor, I'm going to give it a 1.5. So that's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for Scorched, number 20. Um, I like this issue. It's a great thing at the end here. So obviously looking forward to the next one. The Spawn titles are really good. You'll notice now a big pattern on my channel. It's pretty much the S channel. 
which is Superman and Spawn. So Superman and Superboy, I would count Legion of Superheroes as part of the Superboy family kind of a thing. So, and then Spawn, it's, it's like Superman and Spawn, that, those are like kind of the two heads of my channel here where it's either going that way or going that way. I did get Mothman number two. Um, I, I thought I removed it from my pull because I wasn't dying over part one or book one, but uh, I, I'll read issue two since I have it may as well check it out um it's going to be a bit tough because those i don't think you can get those on digital or at least i don't know where you would get them on digital these these frazetta ones um i don't think i've signed i don't think they're on comiXology or anything i haven't really checked because i've just been getting them in physical anyways so it doesn't really matter um like for the frazetta stuff you want to have the actual comic it just feels better and well where possible i always buy the real comic but sometimes you just don't want to like i got that black label superman lex luther thing the last the last days of lex that was awesome now i got that on digital first because like and eh, do i really want to own this but then after reading i was like hell yeah i want to own it so now i'm going to get the next ones for sure but it's those big ones black labels those fat those magazine style books so they're irritating because i only have like i think i only have a couple of short boxes for magazines and that's for savage sword and i used to collect heavy metal magazine and those are pretty full like savage sword has taken up a lot and heavy metals taken up a lot so it's like i don't want to buy another box just for like a couple of these black thing black label ones that i get but it was worth getting it anyways that's my thoughts on uh scorched uh let me know what your thoughts are in the comments until next time